Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Guys, I know COVID started, God, almost <laughs> three years ago. I mean, two and a half, but it feels like an eternity. But apparently, according to Fauci, according to the government, it is still in full swing. Fauci did that interview a few days ago where he was saying, like, be prepared. We can never, we can never be too careful. It's coming back. LA County is reinstating their mask mandate because this virus is so deadly. They said that last week, but then they said they weren't instating the mask mandate for another two weeks. So it's so deadly. We have to do another mask mandate, but not for a while. You can go be out and exposed for, you know, a couple more weeks. Anyway, that's what's going on. But there is something even more juicy that just happened. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you never miss a comment section episode. Because with COVID coming back, I am going to have so much content. It's going to be so exciting. But most importantly, guys, it's official. Biden has COVID. He did a little video about it, telling everybody how he is. Hey, folks, guess you heard. This morning I tested positive for COVID. But I've been double vaccinated, double boosted. Symptoms are mild. And, uh, and I really appreciate your inquiry and your concerns. But I'm doing well. I'm getting a lot of work done. I'm going to continue to get it done. And, uh, and in the meantime, thanks for your concern. And keep the faith. It's going to be okay. Yeah, thank God he's vaxxed and double boosted, my friends, because God forbid he's not and he also gets COVID. The outcome is literally the same. Also, I love this little hand motion he's doing. Keep the faith. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. Like, don't, no, don't do that. I feel like you're coming in to sniff me. So he's apparently fine. His symptoms are mild, but he is isolating. He's doing all of that stuff. And this announcement only comes a day after he had a gaffe where he said that he has cancer. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. Like, what is it, Joe? Do you have cancer? Do you have COVID? Do you have dementia? Is it all three? Is it more than that? You are literally falling apart in front of our eyes. And I can laugh at it and we can look at, you know, videos of you falling off of your bike and that sort of thing. But I genuinely think that it is kind of sad. Like I've said it before, but it's elder abuse. Why is his family letting this happen? I mean, I think we know why their family is corrupt and kind of insane, but the man is not mentally or physically apparently well. He needs to be in a Margaritaville. I've said that before. Put him in a Margaritaville and make somebody else the president. Not Harris though, please, God no. It is time for us to do what we have been doing and that time is every day. Somebody said, shout out to the cameraman catching COVID from you. That reminds me of during all of the trucker stuff where Trudeau apparently got COVID and had to flee the capital of Canada and go be isolated. And he did that little press conference with all of those reporters in front of him. I'm fine. I'm fine. Like, I'm not scared of the truckers. If this is so dangerous, why do you have all of these reporters right in front of you filming you? Lydia, who is Tim Pool's producer, she commented and said, fingers crossed COVID takes Biden's sense of smell like it took mine. Think of the children. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That would be really sad for him if he couldn't smell anymore. It would be wonderful for young people of this world, but terrible for Biden. Jimmy Fallon says, sad to hear Biden has COVID, but on the plus side, this is the first positive result of his presidency. That's good. That's <laughs> quite accurate. You know, and there's a lot of people online, obviously saying that he deserved it and you know, all of that. It's nothing as bad as when Trump got COVID. I mean, literally the Washington Post and the New York Times did scathing articles about him and how he was putting the entire White House in jeopardy and they were tracking him saying, ooh, who is he gonna give COVID to? Who is he gonna kill? That kind of thing. People on social media were saying that he deserves it, all of that. I want to try and be above that because yes, this man has lied to us about COVID since day one. He has lied to us about vaccines. He has gaslit us in every single possible way. So it's ironic that he has fallen ill after all of that mask wearing and boostering, but I'm not going to wish death on him or anything like that. It's wrong and it's not a good look. Just morally, it is not right. And none of us should be doing it, no matter how much you despise somebody across the political aisle. And plus, that would just truly be a terrible outcome for this country. It would mean that we would have a President Harris. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Literally nobody wants that. She has a worse approval rating than Joe himself. Which, by the way, Joe Biden's approval rating just got lower than Trump's lowest approval rating. But... People were so up in arms about the possibility of there being a 
President Harris that President Harris was trending for most of the day yesterday. Stephen Crowder said, here's to wishing Biden a quick and complication-free recovery from COVID because God knows Kamala is waiting in the wings and she's an even worse disaster waiting to happen. Matthew Culkin says, we really aren't all that concerned about you. This is in response to that video. What we are really concerned about is the prospect of a President Harris, which unbelievably could be worse than you. Yes. So the general consensus is that she is terrible, rightfully so. Then people begin reflecting on how profound she would be as the first female president. This parody account tweeted, Washington, President Harris takes control as Biden recoils to Delaware basement to die. In her first speech, she said, we have gathered here today because we are gathered here. And today is not yesterday, but today. And that is why we are gathered. Tomorrow will be today too. God, that's so profound. Somebody else said, President Harris? Yeah, it's all part of the plan. Get ready for a State of the Union speech with 30 minutes of nervous cackling. I think I told you guys, but one of my alarms is Kamala talking to me. And I will say, it gets me the hell out of bed. I'm one of those psychopaths that has random alarms set like 802, 807, 748, that kind of thing. And somehow I've just never gotten rid of them. One of those happens to be Kamala, and I don't exactly know which one, but when I set all of them, then her voice, that's usually the one that actually gets me up. I'm just saying, if you need to be woken up in the morning, make it Kamala cackle. <laughs> it should be an app at this point. Somebody else says, President Kamala Harris, and we mourn President Biden. We show our mourning through engaging in the activities, things that Americans do when we show our grief. We do those things to mourn and also to celebrate his life. All of that, and yes, and that's what we have to consider. Look, everybody on Twitter could apply to be a Kamala speechwriter. It really is like a specific writing style is what I'm learning. I wonder if there could be a class taught about that. I mean, obviously it won't be because it would go against the political agenda, but people teach classes on like the Trumpian rhetoric and that kind of thing. What about the Kamala rhetoric? In 50 years, can we please have a college class about the batshit crazy writing that went on during the Biden administration, the things that Biden accidentally said and the things that Kamala intentionally said? I would go back to school for that. I'd go get a master's for that. Obviously, of course, the left wasn't thrilled about any of these jokes. They jumped onto the President Harris trending thing. A lot of people were going, oh my God, well, we, we hope Biden is okay. But, you know, if he does die, it would be okay because we'd have the first female president. And then they started commenting on people in the GOP going, the GOP only cares about COVID now because they're so scared of a woman being president. Now they care about COVID because Biden has it, all of that. Like this person. Conservatives are freaking out about the notion of a President Harris, and I honestly can't tell if it's because she's black or a woman. That's the current GOP in a nutshell. No, we are freaking out because she is terrible. Her policies are terrible. Her track record is terrible. She seems just like a generally god-awful person in general. Have you heard her laugh? Have you heard about the ways that she has treated people? There is a reason that in those first couple of months that they were in office, that a huge portion of her staff walked and said, she's a terrible boss, we don't wanna work for her. Literally, nobody likes her. I hope her husband does, because that would be a sad life if literally everybody around you despised you. So at least <laughs> maybe one person can like you. That would be great. Guys, we are adding new comment section content every single day, so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. See you next time.